Hello. How's it going? It's going. It's been a while. It has. I'm like, it's been since my Eras tour since we talked. <laughs> I know. Mine happened like a week ago. <laughs> How was it? It was really good. It was very fun. Yeah. Everything goes smoothly. Um, sort of. She had a cold, so she had to like blow her nose a couple times, mm-hmm. but it was mm-hmm. good. <laughs> hey, you got haunted though. Mm-hmm. And I screamed. <sighs> I'm so jealous. What yes. was the other song? I almost do, which mm-hmm. I think personally flop. My brother agreed, but a lot of our friends were like, oh my God, we can't believe you got I almost do. And I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be annoying and complain about my surprise songs. <laughs> what did you get? Um, I got Red and what was the other one? It was something off Lover. I think he knows. I love that song, but if I, those are my surprise songs, I would be very sad. She didn't sing either of the ones that mentioned Detroit and Detroit, which right. was wild to me. Like, yeah, everyone thought we were going to get Long Live because of Gillette, but whatever. That'll be closing night, 100%. There's no doubt in my mind. <laughs> also, she just announced um, like international dates. Mm-hmm. She's like only going to Singapore and Japan. I'm like, come on. What about the Filipino Swifties that are like completely reenacting the eras who were in drag? <laughs> like, That's the only eras tour they get. She's not going to Canada at all. Really? Uh-uh. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I know. But she has seven dates in the United Kingdom, so. Like, okay. You're going to get Lon- London Boy? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that felt like forever ago. Mm-hmm. It was forever ago. Sorry, people. We've been in um, a wall for like a month. But we are posting little snippets on our reels, and we do get the occasional troll. <laughs> <laughs> We get, like, haters, like, low-key. But that's it. So it, be nice and comment if you're going to be nice. We get, like, people being rude for no reason. It's, like, men. Like, it's just, like, boys. So one of them was an old man, and I was like, okay. I'm like, what are you... Why do you feel the need to say something? <laughs> what joy are you getting from tearing two women down? Like, like we're just having fun. We're gossiping. Is- <laughs> and it's not even on any of our like more controversial mm-hmm. like it's not about jk rowling or anything like that it's on like what we're like talking it. about what we ate for dinner but literally i think i posted yesterday like oh i got an ipad and then someone was like these why do we like give this platform to, to these people and why do these people have podcasts <laughs> oh, he called us randos and to yeah. that point i would like to say know your internet history okay (laughs) no pop culture (laughs) we are not pop culture by any means but it's not like we were irrelevant you know like we had a percy jackson journey we just haven't been here for a while and sorry that you weren't a part of that and you're jealous that you'd like to be sorry you weren't in this community but we're evolved now and this is us now so Welcome to Retired Fangirls episode nine. <laughs> episode nine. Isn't that so exciting? It is. It's been a good um, one. Almost- I'm Megan, by the way. I'm Kaylee. We're retired fangirls. We grew up loving Percy Jackson now and now here we are. Speaking of, they announced that it's coming out next year, the show. Well, did they give us a month? I don't know. I just like saw like a tweet and then I was like, Ooh. and then on Disney Plus it has 2024, like coming 2024, but there's no month, which like maybe they'll release it in like May or June. I'm hoping like summer vibes, right? Like it's a summer camp show. And yeah. I hope that they do week by week instead of dropping it all at once. Yeah, that would be nice. It'll be like a fun little thing to look forward to every week. Mm-hmm. and then we can like talk about it dissect it yeah yes. um yeah I don't know are we gonna get a real trailer at any point are we gonna get a mm. soundtrack like all the stuff I've seen for the avatar live action though looks so cute have you seen it I just don't trust it I don't trust it because apparently the actor for Sokka is a white man and he lied about being like Native American 
Yeah, and the original creators also backed out of it, so. Nope. The, the rest of the cast is cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they look good. I don't know. I can't trust anyone. I will watch it, but we'll see. Are you watching The Idol? Fuck no, that shit looks like ass. <laughs> I hear it is ass. I have not touched I it. I probably will watch like an, the first episode maybe just to see because The weekend makes me cringe so hard. He's not a good actor. Um, I've been settling for watching... Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, D'Angelo Wallace, he mm. was like breaking down each episode and I was like, yeah, I can do that. And okay. he's shitting on it the whole time. And I'm like, cool. I feel like I've watched it and none of the bad parts. I don't really think I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. I have been watching some good TV so cool. shows though lately. You have been? I watched Yellow Jackets. That's. And you would not like it. <laughs> It's like cannibalism, but mm -hmm. that one's very good if you're like into like thriller. And then I finished Severance too. Is that the one with um the ben yeah? Very good. Okay. Are those Apple TV? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um I watched the new season of Black Mirror. Oh, I did too, and it was ass. I'm gonna give it two thumbs down. The only episode that felt like a Black Mirror one was the one in space. That was the only one that was, like, decent, but it was still predictable. Like, I feel like all of them were predictable. Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Gonna, I didn't know he was going to kill his family. I kind of had a feeling. I was like, mm. I didn't think that that. I thought he was just going to steal the necklace and kick him out forever. I know. I thought he, I, he was going to, like, take it over his body. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think he was going to fucking kill his wife and kid. Well... Mm -hmm. squeezing um the werewolf one <laughs> what the <laughs> i was what like oh was that how was that a black mirror twist and not a campy horror movie it twist? was twilight <laughs> no literally without so Super if you guys aren't level. gonna watch and you're interested in this spoiler alert it's this paparazzi person in 2005 and she's gonna go find this actress who went a wall when she was filming a movie and she took shrooms and you think she was in a hit and run and they're like taking pictures of her in their like rehab facility and then the full moon comes out and she's just randomly a werewolf yeah and then the paparazzi person <laughs> takes a picture of her like while she's dying and yeah how was that black mirror i think i don't know i think they're trying to be more woke but that's not like it's about technology and our relationship to it that was just she's a fucking werewolf <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know i didn't like any of it the only the second best one was that the lock henry one that one was fun but, but it, it also was to like who it didn't feel like black mirror yeah that's true they didn't really have that technology aspect they're just trying to be more horror, I guess, than, like... I think they're just, like, sh putting shit out. Like, they're like, what if That's she so was... so Netflix of them. <laughs> what if she was a werewolf? Like... Um, that care. made me really concerned for Stranger Things Season 5, because that's the only good thing oh. on Netflix anymore. Oh, the new, um, To All the Boys I Loved Before, like, spinoff came out. Is it bad? There's another one? That's about the little sister oh mm -hmm. apparently Watch it's it? cute i haven't watched it those are cute like they can stick to the rom-coms they're not yeah. good but it's like nice to have something you know bad to watch they have like cute rom-coms yeah i'll give that yeah. i'll give that to you netflix stick with that netflix stick with stranger things you know put the effort in stop making black mirror because what the fuck was that i don't know i'm sorry it's yeah. not my vibe anymore <laughs> Um, I've been reading more than watching, as you know, that is my new thing. Um, I finished Ithaca by Claire North. It's a book about Penelope, um, while Odysseus is away. And I really liked the book. So that was my mouse. It's okay. Um, but I liked it. Oh, she's it was good. good. Yeah, she's very pretty. It's a library book because 
I'm a library fiend now. The library. Um, and now. then I read uh the first to die at the end. I read they oh. both die at the end and I loved it. This one, honestly, the most mediocre book I've ever read. I didn't like the first one. That's fine. The first one also, like if it reads like this, I feel like I wouldn't like it now. Yeah. But it, I read it at the right time. This is the first one again, but it's oh. supposed to be a prequel. And I was like, oh, we're going to figure out how like death cast works. We're going to, it's the concept is like, you get a call. Yeah. The day you're going to die. And I was like, oh, surely we're fi- we'll figure out like how they know things like, no, it didn't tell me anything. It was just the same thing, except the characters have less flaws. Mm. Boring. Mm. I've been watching a lot of stuff. I watched Elemental yesterday. The new Pixar movie? Yeah, that was cute. I was like, I like teared up a little. I'm not gonna lie. Because it's about like like an immigrant father and like, you know, the POC life and then the interracial couple. And yeah, I was good. And then immediately after I watched Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid was very good. Did you watch the original to be able to compare it? Yeah. What do you think? I thought they did it. I like the uh, like the additions they did to it. Like they actually gave Prince Eric a personality and like <laughs> like he has like you don't need a personality when you're that pretty. I mean he's a pretty boy, but it's like I like what he they did with him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't <laughs> my like sister and my friend went to the bathroom. And like immediately after they left, Aquafina started rapping. And I was like, and they left at a good time. <laughs> I have not heard good things about that song. I don't know why it was there. It did it's not get like, Because Lynn needs to Lynn. But Aquafina, it could have been anyone else. And I love to be Diggs, but the fake Jamaican accent, it should have just been a Jamaican man. You know? Or make him not Jamaican, but that takes his but, charm away. Yeah. Did they really cut the chef? Mm-hmm. He's gone. I Did you not watch it. it yet? No, Um. I probably won't. The only movie I'll see in theaters this year is Barbie, most likely. Um. Mm-hmm. Everything else, I'll wait until it comes to streaming. It's just so expensive, and it's like $30 for me to go to the movies here. Yeah. Yeah, it's like but 20 I also am waiting for either Good Link or uh across the spider verse to hit theaters or to hit streaming because i hear it's incredible and i loved the first one i love spider-man so yeah but i can't afford to see it so <laughs> i have to Alan, wait yeah it's very 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 good i would say i do recommend watching spider verse or little mermaid in theaters though if you can but i know she's expensive she's so expensive she's very expensive. other people are taking me to see barbie so it's easier i'm exactly like a month oh well, yeah we have a month until oppenheimer and barbie i'm actually going to be home for i'm going to texas shout out to my texas people and camp for barbie? Home to visit. yeah but i'm going to be in, at home for barbie and oppenheimer day so i'm gonna like force my brother to watch with me <laughs> <laughs> i don't have my usual movie going people mm-hmm. um i watched the flash ah <laughs> uh? It was funny, actually. Yeah, but they're in it. I know. They're, like, very odd. Like, as a character, like, their character, like, playing um, Barry. Also quite off. But Michael Keaton, he slayed. Wasn't he Batman? (laughs) Yeah, he was Batman. He slayed. And Supergirl, she was, like, there. And then she flew around. And then she wasn't there. Um, But it was actually, like, really funny. I wouldn't watch it again. I think it's two and a half hours long, but it was funny. It was like entertaining. Make movies short again. Barbie is apparently like an hour 40. Like give me three hours at least. (laughs) But we want shorter films. I, but for Barbie. I know. Because like Oppenheim is like three hours. Like good night. Seeing it. I'm watching her. I'm watching her and I'm watching Barbie immediately after. It's okay. I just don't feel like watching the atomic bomb come to life. And I get it. (laughs) He says you can feel the like bomb when you're in the theater. He said 40. Huh? 
How um, loud is that going to be? I'll have a panic attack. No, literally, like, are my seats going to be, like, vibrating? Like, Imagine if it's right next door to the Barbie movie and that goes off and then you just hear, like, it's different coming from the next room. Well, I'll let you know how it goes. I will be seated. Whether anyone's coming with me or not. <laughs> Um, I also watched Arrival. I don't know how I haven't seen that movie before. I don't know what that is. It's like a sci-fi. It came out in like 2016. Jeremy Renner's in it. <laughs> Are his legs okay? Is you good? <laughs> what happened? I think he's like recovering? Question mark. Go on the Jeremy Renner app and find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's in it. Amy Adams is in it. If you like sci-fi, anything to do with time and space, watch it. Very good. Is it um, like the Adam Project? Um, it's not really like time travel. Oh, okay. it's more like Interstellar in the way it's like trippy. Okay. And they talk to aliens and shit. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. And then I watched Orphan for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you I knew what was going to happen, but there's a second one. Well, it's not a sequel, but it's a prequel, apparently. And it was like made last year. <laughs> How do I with the prequels? I'm sick of it. <laughs> but I need to find out more about this this girl that's like actually 40 years old. Like, well, you need to figure out how she was orphaned at 40 years old. And I will be watching, and I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's like my senior year of college. Um, me and my friends would take an edible and watch a classic horror film or I wouldn't call orphan a classic but we watched like the conjuring the yeah. ring mm, I think we watched the shining but I probably fell asleep because it's kind of That's a long sleeper. it's slow yeah. um what yeah. about insidious what, is that the one the claps the claps is conjuring right what claps where they turn the lights off and then they play hide and seek and clap twice Oh, that's The Conjuring, I think, yeah. Yeah. I don't remember if we watched Insidious. I've seen it, but I don't know if I've seen it high. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, my friend is, like, obsessed with Insidious. He makes us watch it every time we come over. I don't know why. Doesn't it lose its punch after the fifth time? Yes. <laughs> I've seen it, like, three times at this point. Isn't Insidious, like, a series? Yes, there's, like... There's actually like a fifth one coming out or a sixth one. Why don't you watch different ones? I don't want to. I can't. I don't know what it is. Or the nun. I heard that was ass. Oh, I watched that in theaters. <laughs> <laughs> I've ass? seen like bits and pieces of that universe and I just like, it's all the same. I mean, every ghost story is the same. Do you yeah. watch Watcher slash BuzzFeed Unsolved? Oh, I like watch their old stuff. I haven't okay. like caught up. Um, they're doing a new series of ghost hunting and like telling mysteries. Yeah. Um, but they are so goofy and their videos are so much longer now that they're on their own channel. They're like an oh. hour, hour 15. I need to watch those. Mm-hmm. Speaking of spooky things, have you heard of the Titanic submarine situation? Yeah, I work at a news or use like the biggest thing <laughs> Okay. yeah like hello did you That's- see like that this billionaire just made it and how you steer it is with a bluetooth like gamecube controller there's what only not? one button inside also and they're bolted in like you can't no one can let them out even if they do get onto land or like uh i mean if they have a wrench they can let them out but it's eight bolts they can't get out themselves and the only window is if you're on the shitter i'm scared i'm claustrophobic thinking of it i mean i'm gonna be honest with you they're dead (laughs) oh like that's not me (laughs) my last i'm sorry (laughs) That's not me speaking from AP. I don't have news to support that, but like, we're not finding them. Like, it took us like 40 plus years to find the Titanic. And we like kind of knew where that was. What if that was like, what if they're like in the Titanic? I know, like what if they're trapped there? Disappearing. Didn't you, did you know that, that there's metal eating bacteria on the Titanic? Just eating it? 
Okay. Maybe the orcas got them. <laughs> they flipped the submersible. I mean, you pay what? It was like $250,000. Girl. What? Girl. To go get trapped in the ocean? I'm scared. You could not pay me to do that. I was literally like talking about my friends and like wanting to go because we watched Little Mermaid and we're like, oh my God, we love the ocean. He <laughs> he. Like I do a submarine. And then that I, I like looked at the news and I was like, well, oh. submarine is different. That yeah. is like an experimental, untested, uncertified little Thing. box of metal. <laughs> scary, scary. Mm. And they took it out before and they got stuck under the hull of the Titanic and the people inside had to like move back and forth to wiggle it out. The what? The submarine? Yeah, oh. the same one. I'm sorry, guys. Sending good vibes. But it's not looking good. You're you you really got to see the Titanic, you know? Maybe we got this cool experience. <laughs> that's what everyone's saying. I feel so bad. It's like such a hard thing to like think about. I will never be going on one of those expeditions. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that either anymore. <laughs> mm -mm. Anymore, you would have before. Anymore, me? I was like planning on it. <laughs> If it's like a certified vessel, that's different. Yeah, but this was just a little, a little guy. They had to sit crisscross applesauce. Dude, just looking at that, like they don't even have seats. Like they're just like on their bums. Just how are you not embarrassed to pay two hundred fifty thousand dollars for that experience? Even if it was normal, like you went and then you don't even see the Titanic because there aren't windows unless one person is in the bathroom. That's like, no, I can't it's imagine like how dark it is. Well, because they're also broadcasting um, in Boston for a lot of the news updates. I didn't realize, I'm probably stupid, but I didn't realize like it was so close to like this area, like the Titanic. I don't know why I, know. I never thought about where it was. <laughs> how close it is or if this is just like a good port. Well, it was from... It was from New York, and they were going to what, London? Were they going to London? I don't know. I haven't seen Titanic forever. Um, I don't think I've ever finished it. It's a long movie. Really? It's a classic, though. It's 400 miles off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know where that is on a map. I just, like, when I saw it on the map, I was like, oh, that's trippy. I didn't realize how, like, close it was. Interesting. Yeah. Um. I was not a Titanic, like, lore girl. I, I was, like, a Bermuda Triangle girl. I was a Greek mythology girl. There was I mean, nothing that too. Was penetrating. That was, like, the only thing that consumed my mind. I didn't have room yeah. for anything else. Valid. Like, I had that phase, like, all of elementary. And then middle school, I was, like, obsessed with the Bermuda Triangle. And then, of course, quicksand. The quicksand situation. What are we doing in that? You're standing still. Yeah, we're staying calm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for all the quick scene in Boston. <laughs> I just watched um, <laughs> the show called The Wilds. Okay, I watched it after Yellow Jackets, but it's about these girls that get on a plane crash and they're stuck on an island. The Wilds is very bad, though. I'm sorry. She cannot recommend. I don't recommend it. I'm sorry. Because there's a second season and it's about guys. It's the same experiment, but it's dudes. And I'm like, y'all are boring and too aggressive. Like, y'all are so aggressive. Like, relax. But I brought this up because one of the girls in the show, like, she gets stuck in, like, it's not quicksand, but, like, mud where it's, like, pulling you down. And she's freaking out. And I'm like, girl, stay calm. <laughs> That's like in the critically acclaimed DCOM Starstruck. They <laughs> drive her grandma's car, Sterling Knight, who is also Chad Dylan Cooper, and some girl who's like 14 years old. They drive on these like back roads to escape the paparazzi and they land in a mud puddle. And then the car starts to sink. I don't think I've seen this movie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Starstruck? Is there a Highlander? 
No, but oh, it's a girl oh, that looks like Sarah Hyland. I think you're thinking of like Geek Charming or whatever. Oh, that yeah, happened. I'm thinking of that. Um, no, this one is like oh yeah the like fanfic made decom to a T. It's like this girl who's not obsessed with him, but her sister loves him, and her, they like go to LA, and they're from Kalamazoo, Michigan, and the sister like goes to a club to try and see him and makes her sit in the car and then he gives her a concussion and they have to spend like the day together Ugh. and they fall in love hey i was in kalamazoo kalamazoo i was there i, was there. I went to lake michigan do you did you go to like silver beach mm, i don't do you know, know what city you went to <laughs> i was in fenville do you okay. know what um no nope, it's one of the smaller ones you didn't go yeah. through like holland or saint joe benton harbor anything like that i think we like saw a sign that said holland but we weren't going like we weren't going very far because we had like old people and kiddos but i mean holland is on the coast it's just like she was probably nearby (laughs) Mm -hmm. yeah me and megan both went to michigan last month girls yeah it was hot and then I got back to Boston. And it was like rainy. It's been like rainy here and like cold. And I'm like, the fuck I was running fuck? away from the smog, the orange skies in New York City. Ugh, yeah, scary. Yep. So it I went bad. to Michigan. It was fine. Yeah, it was like bad for like a day for us for the wildfire, but it, it wasn't bad for us. Well, it was. It was something. Sure was orange. Scary. People taking their Instagram photos. <laughs> you don't even need a filter on it. It was just like, it was crazy. I've never seen anything like it. My friend is like going through a breakup right now. And I'm like, leave it. <laughs> it doesn't matter how long you, how in love you are with this man, how long you guys have been dating. I will always tell my girlfriend to break up with, <laughs> with the man. <laughs> I would have to take the perfect person for me not to be like, yeah, no, dump him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm like sorry he's just a boy he's not a man he's just a boy hit him with your car hit him with your car stay away from her no, Get a literally. Job. no literally well now i need a new tv show now that i finish all mine mm. like i literally finished right before we start our call hmm. well um, i'll let you know next time whenever that I'm may be excited. we should do it at a normal time next time so tati can come on oh yeah yes please Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now that it's summer maybe the other sps people can can join Mm -hmm. i keep forgetting it's like actually like summer i don't know the weather's just like not been summer for me really it's like hot here i was at the beach yesterday i am burnt my ears i don't know if you can see they're like red and swollen i'm jealous i want a beach day but it keeps raining i hate that I need to get out of here. But yeah, I will be in Texas in July. So we shall coordinate. But thanks for tuning in, people. Hope you enjoyed this little babble sesh. Yeah, sorry, this is all over the place, but that's just how it is. The pod. And let us know if you want anyone to come on or whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever we may talk about. <laughs>